welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can tell by my little table here, we are going to be doing another decluttering series video, and this one is going to be all about decluttering my body jewelry. Now, first thing I just want to say, excuse the way this little table looks. This is actually the table that I use to film with when I do my makeup videos, my Halloween makeup videos, so it is quite stained. I did bleach it and clean it before I put all my body jewelry out, but there are just a lot of makeup stains on here, so if you just see all this stuff, just kind of ignore that. Uh, I didn't really have anything else to do this with, so we're just dealing with a very messy table, but I promise it is clean. So what I've done all already is I've just laid out all my body jewelry based on piercing wise so everything that you're seeing down here is ear piercings everything right here is nose um, including these two which is septum um, in this corner right here that you can't really see too well is all tongue rings and over here is all of my belly rings and then everything else over here in this back corner which we will get to is all miscellaneous slash who really knows and then we have a couple nipple rings over here so basically I'm just gonna take you through section by section and we are going to declutter and get rid of all of the jewelry that I no longer wear so if you guys are interested in seeing this video and you want to see more then stay tuned and let's go ahead and get started okay so the first section that we are going to start out with is all of my nose piercing jewelry I have such an array of different things like nose bones L shape corkscrew um, nose hoops seamless nose hoops a d bunch of different decorative ones so I have quite a few different varieties of nose jewelry and to be honest I really don't change my piercings that often and when I do I usually stick with that jewelry for quite quite a significant amount of time. So I am just gonna go through and get rid of everything that is old that I don't wear anymore. Stuff that is just kind of worn down and broken. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick out all of my nose hoops that I have because I do really like my nose hoops so I will keep those. And just kind of move everything out of the way. So all of my nose hoops right here that you're seeing, I am definitely going to be keeping those. The next thing that I'm going to keep are these two nose bones right here. They are just little little studs right here. I did recently just get these from Body Candy and I do really like them. They are a little bit on the big side, like the diameter of the jewels is quite large, but nonetheless, I do still really like them and I can always wear, you know, one of these and a nose piercing and a hoop in the other one. So I will for sure keep those because they are a matching set. The next one I'm going to keep is this little opal corkscrew stud that you're seeing right here. I got this from Body Candy as well, and I just think this is a really pretty nose ring. Like, it looks really nice. I'm surprised I don't wear this one more often. The next one I'm going to keep is just another one of these little opal nose studs. It is just an L shape right there, and as you can see, it has that really, really pretty opal look to it. So I will keep that one as well. The next couple ones I'm going to keep look like some nose bones that we have over here. Uh, let's see, we have a black flat top and then we have another black one that has kind of like a ball on the top. Um, I will keep those along with these two gold nose bones. Again, we have another kind of like one with the ball on the top and then another one that has a little bit more of like a flat top to it. So I will keep those just because I think that would be kind of cool to have different dimensions of color and stuff there. So this one right here, I actually got this one for the purpose of my forward helix. I would not wear something this large in my nose and this is again another nose bone. This is an 18 gauge one. Again, bought off body candy. So I don't really have a use for this anymore because I did get some different jewelry for my forward helix so I'll probably throw that guy away. Let's see and it looks Looks like we have a bunch of just random little corkscrews over here. So I'm just going to go through those first. This first one right here is one that I was originally pierced with, as you can see, which is why it is so long to accommodate for swelling. I do not need this one anymore, so I will probably throw this guy away as well. Um, it looks like I have a couple seamless rings over here, or whatever you want to call them. I will keep this little one right here, because this might be 
fitting for my smiley but these two I won't use and don't need so I'll probably throw those guys away as well and I'll set this guy off in the miscellaneous because I might wear this in my smiley. Next one that I'm going to throw away is again another nose jewelry that I was pierced with originally as you can see that is why it is so long to accommodate for swelling. Both of my nose piercings are completely healed now so I in fact do not need that one anymore. I'll throw that one away. This next really pretty one that I found just hanging out is just kind of like a little pink gemmed nose stud, very tiny. Um, I do like how dainty that is so I will keep that one for sure. These three right here that you're seeing are all matching corkscrews and I am going to keep those because I do like to wear matching jewelry in my double nose piercing so I will keep those. Um, and this is all we have left to go through for my nose piercing. So in total we've gotten rid of five and have pretty much kept the rest, but let's just keep going. Uh, these ones right here I got from Body Candy that I did a haul on a while back, and I did try them out, I did wear them for a while, and to be perfectly honest with you guys, they are just not really my style. So I will put those in the donate pile and give them to someone else just because they're just not something that looked good on me, like I don't think they looked very flattering on me, but basically they're like an L-shaped nose stud, but the jewelry that kind of hangs off the top wraps around your nose kind of like a hoop. It's a really cool idea, I like it, but it just does not work for me, so I'm just going to donate those to somebody else. Uh, the next one I'm going to get rid of... Actually, the next two that I'm going to get rid of are these little guys right here. Uh, these are just a couple nose bones that I have, and I just never wear them, so I'm just going to get rid of those guys. And I have enough studs as it is, so those are just kind of taking up space that I don't need them to. The next one I'm going to keep is this corkscrew style nose ring right here, and as you can see, it just has the little silver ball on top. I do really enjoy that look, so I will set that off in the keep pile. And then all we have left are kind of bent slash L-shaped nose studs. So these are very, very hard to see because all of the gems are very, very tiny. So we're just going to kind of go through this really quickly. I'm just going to go over and keep the ones that look good. Like that one doesn't look good anymore. Uh, let's see how this one is. Yeah, that one doesn't look very good anymore. Neither does that one and either does this one. So all four of these little L-shaped bent nose rings, they just don't look good anymore. The jewels look like they're kind of getting old and falling out. So all of these we are going to get rid of. So out of everything, guys, this is everything that we kept. I did keep a all of my uh, nose hoops, and I kept a few different varieties of, like, nose bones, corkscrews, and l shapes. So I'm very happy with this, so we will go ahead and put this off to the side to put away later. The next two that I have are septum jewelries. I have a septum clicker that just looks like this, really pretty, kind of like blue gems on there, and then I just have an extra horseshoe. I am going to keep these just because I don't have very many septum pieces and if I ever lose one that would be bad so I'm just going to keep these for backup. The next section that we are going to move on to is all of my tongue rings that you are seeing right here. Now I'm someone who's very very picky with my tongue rings. I don't like to change my tongue piercing jewelry that often. When I first got my tongue pierced I did really like to do that a lot but as the years have gone on, I just don't have time for it. I don't have the desire to change it as much anymore. So if I do change my tongue piercing jewelry, it's really only like a couple times a year, if that. So all of these tongue rings are really just taking up space, and I just don't need them anymore. So we're just going to kind of go through and get rid of some of the designs that I don't like, don't wear. Another thing is I'm not going to keep very many of these barbells because these barbells, I ordered them, and they are literally just the standard size. Um, my tongue ring takes about half an inch. That's how, that's the size barbell that I have in, which is, I think that's like, what, 11 millimeters in length. Um, so these are just way too long for me, and I just end up biting them. So I will be getting rid of a great majority of these barbells. I will keep a few of them just so I have backups just in case, but a majority of the ones I'm just going to ditch and get out of here. The very first one that I know for sure I'm going to keep is this bright yellow one because I did recently get this from Body Candy and I do still really enjoy that one, so I will for sure keep that one. Um, a couple other ones that I know I want to keep are just my plain black barbell. As you can see, 
right here. It's just a really nice plain black one and I do like that one. And this one is titanium. And I don't have any titanium barbells for my tongue so I will be keeping this one. Um, I'm also going to keep just my plain silver one. Uh, this barbell length that you're seeing right here, this is the barbell length that my tongue takes. It is a lot shorter than all of the other ones, so I am going to keep that one as well as a backup. Um, some other ones that I'm keeping right off the bat is this one right here. This was bought at Hot Topic quite a long time ago, but I really like the glitter ball on it, so I will be keeping that one. The next one that I'm keeping, again, is just another silver barbell. Um, nothing too fancy. It's just something simple, and then it has two different diameter size balls on each end, which can always come in handy if I want something a little bigger, a little more flashy. Or we have yet another just plain silver barbell. You guys can kind of tell what theme I like with my jewelry. Uh, definitely the more silver the better. I'm not someone who's too flashy or into crazy colors, so that one will go in the keep pile. The other one that we have is a silver barbell with the black ball on one end and then the silver ball on the other. I just really like the way that looks, and again, it's a really good backup to have, so that will also go in the keep pile. Um, some other colors that I'll keep because I really like is I'm going to keep this really pretty light pink one. I do like the light pink balls and it kind of has like a marble look on the top there so that one can stay. The next one I'm going to keep is this one right here and this one has a design on the top. As you can see right there it's a really cute star. Um, I don't like to wear these too much because they really kind of cut at my gums and I'm just not a fan of that but I do really like this one so he can go on the keep pile. And then another one that I'm going to keep is this one right here. Um, this huge pack of tongue rings by the way I bought years ago when I first got my tongue pierced and they were bought off of Amazon in case any of you are wondering. Uh, the next one I'm going to keep is this really pretty one. As you can see, it has kind of like a marble pattern on it. This used to be one of my favorite ones, so this will definitely go in the keep pile. Okay, guys, and honestly, that is really it. None of these really appeal to me anymore, and a lot of them, these are acrylic balls, and a lot of them are cracked, and I don't want to put it in my mouth in case I were to accidentally bite down on it or break it and swallow it. I just don't want that, so the rest of these I'm going to get rid of just because they are just really really old and damaged and I really don't need all of these ridiculously long barbells like this one I do really like I bought this years ago but the barbell is just too long for me so the cross just flops in and out around my mouth and I hate that I think the only other one I'll keep is this one right here, and as, I don't know if you can see that, but it is kind of like a, a mouth with a tongue sticking out. That one's kind of cool, so I'll actually keep that one too, but yeah, the rest of these I'm just going to throw away. Like, I don't need two of the glitter balls. I already have one of them, and that works for me, so yeah, the rest of these are just going to go away. All right, and here is all of the tongue jewelry that we decided to keep. Just this little tiny array, which this is absolutely perfect for me. I really didn't need all of those extra ones, so this is great. I'm happy with my choices, so there you go. Now we can move on to my belly rings and then my ear jewelry and miscellaneous, and we'll be done all of my belly rings. Now I have quite a few belly rings. My belly button piercing is definitely one of my favorite piercings that I do have. It is also the longest piercing that I've had other than my ears. I just love it and I love decorating it with different body jewelry, but unfortunately a lot of these are very old, broken down, don't fit anymore. So we're just gonna kind of run through it and go through everything. The first three that I'm seeing that I do not want anymore are these bright neon ones. One, because the barbell length on these is way, way too long, this banana bar, I guess you could call it. Um, over time, my belly button piercing has migrated quite a bit, so the skin in between is definitely too thin. That's not from anything bad, it's just over time, you know, wear and tear of a piercing. It's just something that tends to happen. So I'm not going to keep these anymore because honestly, they look so ridiculous in me when I wear them. So these three right here are going to go. The next one that I am going to throw away, which it honestly breaks my heart, is I'm going to get rid of this little guy right here. This is was the first ever belly button ring that I bought myself after getting it pierced. I was in love with this thing. It was the cutest thing to me, but I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it is very tarnished from wearing it swimming, in the shower, all that good stuff. So I'm just going to have to say goodbye to this guy, and it honestly breaks my heart because 
I don't know. I just love this one so, so much. So I will be getting rid of this guy. If you are curious as to where you can find this exact same one, I got this one off of Amazon. Next one that I'm going to get rid of is this little guy right here. It is just a barbell with like a little, you know, skeleton head hanging off. And then on the very bottom, it has like a little star jewel, as you can see right there. I just don't ever wear this one and I'm just not really interested in it. So I'll probably just, um, give this one away or actually what I will do is I'm actually going to unscrew this and I'm going to take the skeleton off and I'm going to screw the ball back on and there we go now I, I actually have like a separate just in case barbell so I'm actually just going to get rid of this little skeleton and also as you can see on there um, the little wiring or not wiring the like chain on it is very tarnished from water too so yeah I'm just going to throw that one away the next one that I'm going to get rid of is this guy right here and if you have been a follower of mine for a while then you would know that this is the belly ring that I had with me for a year and two months after I got my belly button pierced. This was my first initial starting jewelry and it has been through quite a journey because my belly button piercing was not the funnest thing to get to heal. So I am going to get rid of it though just because I don't need it anymore and it kind of gives me like mixed feelings. Like it gives me bad thoughts but it gives me like good thoughts because I got my belly button pierced that was really great but at the same time my belly button piercing caused me a lot of hell, so I don't need this one anymore, and I'm going to retire it. So a couple that I'm going to keep right off the bat are just my barbells. Like, I am for sure going to keep this little barbell right here. Um, let's see what other ones. I'm going to keep this little barbell right here just because I really do like these, and they're really easy for me to wear. Um, this extra one... Uh, let's see. I'm also going to keep both of my Playboy ones. I have a little black one right here. It just has the little black Playboy bunny on it. I got this one from Shop Miss A, actually, and I really like it. So I will be keeping that one, and I'm also going to keep this belly ring as well. It is the same thing. It's just a little, like, Playboy bunny on there. I got this one off of Amazon. Definitely one of my favorites. Um, this one I'm also going to keep. It is just a little blue spare and I got this one from Hot Topic. I probably only have like a couple more wears out of this one just because like it is starting to tarnish really bad so but I still want to keep it and get a couple more wears out of it. I'll probably keep my Batman one for now. Um, not really sure if I'm going to keep it in the future but for now it's okay so I'll set that off to the side to keep. The next one I'm going to retire is another skull one and this one was from Oh gosh, this was like one of my first ever YouTube reviews, KS Piercing, something like that. This one's just too old, like I lost the top ball for it. The little gems in the eyes fell out and I just don't need this one anymore just because it just doesn't look as good as it used to six years ago, so I will retire that guy. The next couple ones I'm going to keep are my rose ones. The first one that I have is this one right here and it's just a black rose and it has like the black little stud on top and it kind of goes down and has another little one right here. I I really like this one so I'm gonna keep that one I'm also going to keep my purple one right here as you can see it's the, basically the same thing I did lose the ball for it but I do have an extra ball that I will use for this one so I can still make it work and I'm also going to keep my blue rose one as you can see right here you guys know I really do like roses and flowers so I, I just like to keep those so there's my little blue one and then the next two that I think I'm going to get rid of is this one right here um, this was also one of the first dangle belly button rings that I ever bought myself this was bought off body candy about six years ago and it's just a little standard barbell with the green gem and then it also has like a green sparrow hanging off of it um, I just don't wear this one anymore and it is quite old so I am going to get rid of that one and then the next one that I'm going to get rid of is probably this one right here now this one is actually really cool it's a different style from anything else that I have but this one is kind of like an upside down belly ring um, you put it in the same way but instead of putting it from bottom to top you put it in from top to bottom and then the three gems that you see hanging right there they kind of hang over the piercing so it just gives it kind of a really 
a really unique look, but honestly I don't wear it and I didn't find it very comfortable for me, so I will retire this one as well. And this one is also very, very old and tarnished down. And then the last four that you are seeing right here are of course ones that I am going to keep. Now this one right here, this really, really big one, the angel wings with the blue gem in the middle, I always get questions on where I got this one. And honestly, you guys, this one was bought at or given to me for a review from that KS piercing place. But I am also going to keep this one right here. It is just a little green gemmed bow. Super cute, and I absolutely love that one. Um, the next one I'm going to keep is this one. This one's very unique. It has bat wings, and it also has the pink gem in the middle. So that one is a for sure keep. Then I also have this one, which was bought off of Amazon. It has the black and red star, and then it also has the really cool, like, skeleton on the bottom there with the wings. I really, really like this one, and it is a little bit of a dangle, but nothing too much where it gets in the way, so... I will be keeping that one. So these are all of the ones that I am for sure going to keep in my collection. All right guys, moving on to the next section is all of my ear piercing jewelry, as you can see, gathered together right here. Excuse the stain that is on my table. Ugh, makeup problem. So um, we are gonna go through this one rather quickly because I don't have a lot that I really want to get rid of, just a few ones that I just don't wear anymore or have missing balls. Um, the first three that I'm gonna get rid of are these right here. These are kind of like the swirly type ear jewelry and to be honest with you, I don't wear them that often. I don't really understand how they're worn. I just don't really get the whole concept of it and I don't think they look very good either. So I am actually going to put these in the donate pile because I just don't need them anymore. Um, a couple other ones that I'm going to get rid of are just like some weird odds and ends that don't have balls or I just don't wear anymore or stuff I just don't like. Okay, so here are all the ones that I'm going to get rid of, um, mostly because they just, I lost the balls to them. They have missing balls, like I just don't need them anymore. This one is just a very, very large horseshoe, and then on the other side it has a skull with red eyes. Um, I don't have a matching one with this, so I feel like it just wouldn't make sense to wear this on its own, so I'm not going to keep that one. Um, this one I got from Body Candy, and I do really like it. It looked really cool in my Helix piercing. It's just a little feather as you can see right there, but it is very, very tarnished. It tarnished very quickly in the shower underneath the water, so I'm just not going to keep this one anymore just because it is pretty beat up. All right, and then everything else that you see here is stuff that I am going to keep, and I'm just going to run through everything very, very quickly with you guys. So the first two that I'm going to keep are these two horseshoes right here. Now I get a lot of questions on these. These were bought at Claire's about maybe... 12 years ago. They're just like first lobe ear piercings, nothing too crazy, and they just look really cool and badass, and I do like these. I've been wearing these for years, so I am for sure going to keep those. These three that you see right here are helix piercings, and these were also bought at Claire's, and I don't know how well you'll be able to see that, but they are little roses. So I have a pink one, a yellow one, and then I also have like a cream colored one as well, and I do really like these. I think they look really cute, so I will be keeping these for sure. Some other ones that I'm going to keep are just a few CBR rings. I have a few matching ones. I have two pink ones right here. I have two iridescent ones here. I have just a plain CBR and I have kind of like an opal crystal colored one here and then I also have another little smaller CBR. I will keep these because they do look really good in the helix. They are a pain in the ass to put in but they are totally worth it and they look really really nice and they all have the balls so I see no point in getting rid of them. You never know when you're going to need them so these are all of the ones that I'm going to keep. The next ones that I have are just some little barbells that I use in my tragus and in my helix. So these two I am definitely going to keep right here. They're just the two plain crystal ones and I do wear these quite often so I will be keeping those I am also going to keep this really pretty kind of like opal white one I think that one is really pretty in the tragus um, this one is more of like an iridescent crystal but I am going to get rid of this one because a lot of the gems have fallen out and it just doesn't look very good anymore so I will be getting rid of that one next couple little bits I have are just some more horseshoes I have these two little ones right here this one is has the just two silver balls on it and this one has the two spikes on the end I really do like those and I do use those 
quite a bit, so I will be keeping those. This one I'm not really sure yet. I got this one off of Body Candy. It's just a gold horseshoe, and it has the two balls on the end. This one is the silver one, and that one's just the plain gold. And then it also has this flower. Not really a huge fan of it, but I will put it in the maybe pile just because it is really pretty and it is really cute so we'll have to see how I feel about that one later on. These next ones that I am pulling up are flat backs and we also have this really pretty lotus flower that I got from Body Candy. Hopefully you can see that okay. I think that one is really cool and then I also have this one as well. I'll probably keep these two flat backs as like a just in case kind of thing in case like I lose a piercing or something like that. Um, these two are just very very different. I do really like the lotus flower. I think that is really really pretty. So I will keep that one for a helix piercing and this one I do really really like. It's kind of hard to describe but that little ball right there slides out and you kind of put this in a helix piercing. I have never tried it because I just cannot figure out how to work it but if I ever do I will let you guys know but I'll probably keep this one for now just in case. So this is everything that I am going to keep right here. The next things that we are going to move on to are my retainers. So this first one right here is a tongue ring retainer. Hopefully you can see that okay. Basically just a tongue ring but it's clear. I'm going to get rid of this one because I just don't wear it anymore. Um, I really don't care if my work knows that I have my tongue pierced or not. So I'm not going to wear this one anymore and this one was also very very painful to wear. I was not a fan of it at all so that one can definitely go in the trash. Um, this bag I'm going to keep because this is all of my ear retainers which I do need for work on occasions when I remember to put them in so these I will definitely keep and these ones right here are all of my nose ring retainers which I am also going to keep for sure. This next little baggie we are definitely going to get rid of for the sole purpose that these are all of my Monroe piercing jewelries. If you guys remember back in the day when I used to have my Monroe pierce and I would change it to different colored jewels that's what these are and I don't need them anymore because I don't have my Monroe pierce. I don't plan on getting it pierced again anytime soon so I am going to retire these. If I ever do get it pierced, re-pierced in the future I will just buy new stuff because this is very old and they're literally just like the gems to put in like I don't even have like a spike to put in it anymore so I'm just gonna get rid of that. Alright the next two pieces of jewelry that I have are for my nipple piercing. Now these are just two plain silver barbells because that's just what I like to wear in my nipple piercing. I don't like to wear anything too flashy or out there. I'm the only one who sees it so I feel like I don't need to go all out with my jewelry. So this one is just a plain one which I will keep and this one is the same plain silver one but it also has the chain on it. I will keep this one. I don't do anything like that very often but you know if I'm feeling frisky I will definitely wear this one. So this one was bought off of Fresh Trail friends body jewelry and it came with the little chain on it. And then everything that you are seeing right here we are also going to be getting rid of. These are just a bunch of random barbells that don't have a home. They don't have a use. As you can tell a lot of them don't even have the balls on anymore. If you guys recognize this little black one, this one used to be in my eyebrow piercing back in the day when I used to have my eyebrow pierced, which I do really really miss that piercing so maybe someday we'll get it again but who really knows, but for now I'm just going to get rid of these because I just I just don't have a use for them anymore. These can all go bye bye Alright guys, so that was everything that I have for my body jewelry. Now we are going to put it all away in this little thing right here, and a lot of you are probably wondering what this is. This is actually just a jewelry box, but I have had this for years and years and years, and this is literally where I store all of my body jewelry, all of my rings, everything like that. I store in here. So as you can see it has a lot of compartments. So we're just going to load up all my body jewelry and place it back in its home.
All right, guys, and that is everything for my body jewelry declutter. So here's what it looks like on the inside now. It is way more organized, way more easy for me to find things. So here I just have a couple rings. Um, I just have my class ring, a diamond ring, and a little, just a little like decorative ring. Um, over here to this side, as you can see, I have all of my belly rings. These ones are separated, so these ones are all of the non-dangle ones, and these ones are more of like the intricate dangle ones. I put the two nipple rings right here, and this little container right here is where I have all of my nose piercing jewelry. And then when you lift up over here, we have everything nicely laid out and organized. So we have my tongue jewelry, we have horseshoes and CBRs, and then we we also have some ear studs as well so everything is way less cluttered way easier for me to find and I am very happy with everything that we got rid of so I really really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give a huge thumbs up don't forget to go down and subscribe to my channel but as always I will see you guys very soon in my next video I love you guys bye